Okay, hi everyone. Well, it's been a long time, maybe about five months or so since I've made any tutorial. And in today's video, I'm not really doing a tutorial so much as I'm testing, uh, recording at a higher resolution. And I wanted to show you a few things about this character here that I downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. But when you do it, um, I had to build my own rig to go with it. I didn't build it auto by myself completely. I used Rigify. And Rigify is, let me see if I have that up here as well. Uh, there's a tutorial for Rigify in here, yeah, right there by Blender Cookie. They do, a re they have a really great tutorial on here. You can see what it looks like at the beginning, like this, all right. So if you want to know about it, just follow that tutorial. I recommend. But anyway, so what happens is when you, when I get this character from Unity, it didn't have this rig to go with it, and this ended up being the rig that I put in here. Basically, all I had to do was come in and match up all the bones to the character before I actually attached it to the character and then I was going then I exported it as an XBF file and the reason I'm doing this particular video is because in the latest version of Blender this is if you notice this is 2.70 I don't know if it shows here no this is 2.70 that I'm using but in here I'm now looking at 2.72 which I downloaded today okay and what caught my attention about 2.72 is uh, they were saying in there that there's new add or new updates to the import feature for FBX files all right so it says it supports armatures shape keys animations and things as such so here's that same model you can barely see her in fact let me see if I can grab her go back into here see if I can grab the model yeah there's the model here you can see right there when I move it away from the armature you can just barely see it like that and these are the this was the default import method that came within it so let's take a look at the armature itself and I'll go into bone mode here, b-bone mode and take a look at what the armature looks like and so it's suited to this particular model but it's not really suited to what I need as far as having a a complete rig that's going to work back in Unity because that's really where I'm heading these days instead of building my own models now for characters I'm going to build all my models except for the characters and the characters I'll just license and then I'll re-rig them and use them in my games or other projects within Unity. And uh, so in this case, uh, where there might be more to this than I see, but I wanted to point out the, that the, what currently exists in Blender with Rigify is just fine. You just have to make sure you get the add-on under your preferences for Rigify, which you can find in that tutorial that I was talking about in here. And and then once you do, once you have, then once you bring it in and create your rig like that and attach it then you can export it as an XBF file and that's also covered in that other tutorial and then I'll show you what it looks like in Unity so now here's I'm back in Unity and here's my old tornado simulator scene that I was working on you know six months ago and here's a couple characters this is actually a Daz 3D character but I decided I won't use that because if I run this it doesn't work she actually falls out of her clothes and the clothes stay there because they're using separate models for the it's a separate object for the body and the pants and the shirts and things like that so it's kinda of difficult to set it up as far as rig is concerned and this is the character that I licensed from Unity's from the Unity Asset Store and you can get that yourself and what's nice about that character is that um, it already has the rig built in with pre-built motions but it's using the old legacy uh, Unity animation and I wanted to update it. And this character here now is the one that I've imported back in after I put the rig back into it. So I'm going to move this one out of the way for a moment because I don't need to see this in the animation. And in fact, the, and the reason being is because uh, it really kind of looks strange when she loses her clothes. You're not supposed to display Daz uh, nudity stuff anyway. So let's run this real quick and see what it looks like just so you kind of get an idea. Alright, so this is the legacy character, I mean the legacy animation that's pre-built in with that character when you download it from the Unity Store, which is pretty nice. But uh, the problem with using that type of activity is that, let's stop this for a second, is, is that if you use this particular type of animation, you can't tie it into Mixamo in the same way. You, so you can't use the new or maybe not Mixamo, I should say, but the, just the new animation system that's built into Unity, which is really powerful, where you're basically substituting 
armatures and animations into uh, other characters. And so this character I'm going to have to change up a little bit. And basically I'll have to create the new animations for this character within Blender and then I'll bring them back into here for use. But there's no sense in me doing a tutorial on the Rig of Five because over, over at Blender Cookie they do such a good job that it makes it simple to do your own rigs. And like I said, part of this tutorial is just I'm doing a well I'm up to five minutes. Uh, that's long enough. I wanted to see how much data this is going to take on my hard drive because I'm running this at 920, 1920 by 1080 which I hardly ever do and um, my upload speeds on my computer are still like dinosaur slow you know the slowest upload speeds on the planet this thing's probably going to take an hour and a half to two hours just to upload this simple tutorial alright well I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials this year but they're not going to be in the Blender domain so much as they're going to be in the Unity domain I'll cover things that I do in Blender and I move over to Unity but then when I get back into the programming and things there's going to be a lot more Unity tutorials this year as Blender is pretty well covered for a lot of things of course I'll be doing some Blender tutorials as well alright well nice to see you again I hope not to be a stranger so long and I'm going to have a couple other channels that I'm going to be working on this year as well so I'll keep you posted about that because I will have a lot of other projects besides just doing my 3D animation stuff. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.